Minecraft. Hello, hello everyone, and welcome. I will teach you to play. Do you have like the videos for you to be non Why can't you do that? Hey, I will teach you to fuck the Today I will teach you to abuse children. Today I will teach you to play Minecraft. But not the type of Minecraft you know. Idiot, I'm talking about Xbox One Edition. Now before we talk about how to play it, let's talk about what is Minecraft. Minecraft is a survival game where you can craft weapons, tools and armor. You can also build structures and houses. You can farm or just explore the world. There are 60 different types of biomes to explore. And you can also find temples and villages, but most importantly, lava pits. You are a speedrunner, of course. The point of the game is to try and craft and rise. These eyes will uh, guide you to a stronghold, which is on the ground, so you will have to dig down. The stronghold, you will have to search for a portal, and that portal will lead you to the final boss. Now that's the PC version of the game. I wanted to give a tutorial on is the Xbox One edition. I'm not talking about the bedroom version where you can play crossplay with others who play the Windows edition. Um, I'm talking about the real Xbox One edition of Minecraft. And it's called Minecraft Xbox One Edition. Play every name, huh? In the Xbox One edition, there's only 40 different biomes. You can't craft shields, and there are less different kinds of arms. Some might say that this is a bad version of the game. And to that I say fuck. That was all I could say about Minecraft for the people who live in a rock. Because even the people who live under a rock know what Minecraft is. So how do you beat this game you might ask. And don't worry. I will show you. When you first create a world you will spawn in a random biome. You never know what biome you might get. But if you do get a desert biome just delete that world. And I created one myself to show you and well I spawn up here. Now oh, I started to mine and some gravel, but that was just because it was next to me. What you actually want to start doing is to mine some wood. With that wood, you will want a crafty crafting table and four sticks. Place down your crafting table and crafty wooden pickaxe. With this pickaxe, you will want to mine some stone to get cobblestone. If you don't stand next to a stone as I did, well, if you don't spawn next to a stone as I did, just mine straight down. There's always stone, just a couple of blocks down. When you get 16 in cobblestones, you can start crafting again. So I suggest craft a stone pickaxe, a stone sword, and a stone, stone axe, and a furnace. You might see others craft uh, wooden tools, and uh, don't do that. It's a waste of wood. You can just. Oh uh, yeah, mine some cobblestone and get stone tools immediately instead. If you see animals, you will want to kill them with a sword, especially sheep. They will drop wool, which is very important because with the wool uh, and wood, you can craft your bed. In the PC version, um, the axe is the strongest, weapon, but it's slow. In this version, it's the sword, and you fucking spam. If you see a cave, don't start mining in it for too long. But you could take some minutes to mine in it and- OH! IRON! Iron is important because with iron you can craft scissors, buckets, armor, or weapons. Now as I said, don't mine for too long, that should really be done when night falls and that's when the monster starts to appear. First thing to do before nightfall is to mine wood. Build a base and if you got a bed, place it down somewhere in your base to skip the nights and set your spawn point. As you can see now, uh, I'm getting pretty hungry. And when your hunger bar is too low, you can't run anymore. Oh, and by the way, you can sprint if you press the button you move forward with twice. Sh should have said that before, yeah. <clears throat> so what you will wanna do now is to get the raw food you got from killing animals before and place them in your furnace that I hope you crafted. Um, but you will also need some coal. Now what? Uh, now I was lucky and found coal, but if you did not find any coal it's okay, because there is another way to make coal. Unfortunately for me, I just found one sheep, so I can't craft it bad, and also spend a little too much time on building my base. Make sure you don't make the same mistakes as I did, and I'm not just talking about Minecraft. Yeah, now, now it's night time, and that means monsters.
but it's okay. Because I'm a pro at the game. But if you are new to this game, make sure to make your base before nights. Also make sure that you uh, have doors in your base so you can actually get into your base. You might have seen that I have left some holes in my base. This is because I wanted to place some windows there later, but it's not necessary at all. If you do get hurt, the only way to re regenerate your health back is to eat and make sure you're hungry. As you can see, I just found a tall human looking monster. They are called Ender You will need to kill as many of these as you can because these monsters have a chance to drop Ender Pearls. And those are very important right here. But. You will, you will, yo, you idiot. If you want to know if I killed the Enderman, may, make sure to watch part two. Because I had to separate this in different parts because this is actually a school project and I it can't be more than 10 minutes long. So um, it's almost 10 minutes long. I don't know if you're gonna, I'm, I don't know, really know if I'm actually gonna make more parts. Um, Maybe. I don't know how to end videos. Bye.